May the 6th, 1997. Fasula Speaks. My Lord, my cup, my banquet, I lack nothing in your presence. Blessed be your name thrice holy. Down in the dust I laid until your word came to my ear and revived me. Then, in your great love and compassion, you kissed my eyes to open them. I began to see. I saw beyond the zenith of the stars and beheld in my heart your magnificence. I saw the invisible God and the one who was inaccessible to my touch was suddenly all around me and within me. The impenetrable instantly became penetrable. With a single utterance from his mouth, the intercessor within me lifted my spirit in a cloud, and together with him and through him brought my soul in full communion with you, to penetrate into the very depths of your majesty. The Lord speaks. My Vesula, I laid down my love before your very eyes. The footnote reads, When Jesus was explaining himself to me, he used a gesture with his hands. He had both his hands lifted as if carrying someone, then lowered them all the way down as if he put them gently down on someone. The Lord continues. Have you not noticed how I surrounded you with songs of deliverance? Would you like me to sing you one more of my songs? Fasula said, Oh yes, I would like you to sing to me, and for me, an endless song. The Lord speaks, I will sing this song. The footnote reads, The message of love from Jesus are songs. God's word is so beautiful that it becomes a canticle to the soul. The Lord continues, I will sing this song which will be sung for all eternity and for all of you. And you, my beloved, you may be my harp and my lyre, accompanying my voice. Come, come and tell your soul. Jesus is my salvation. The footnote reads, Title of Jesus' Song. The Lord continues, I am your salvation. See how I come with my delicate fragrance of incense and myrrh all the way to your room. My fragile one, wander no more like a vagabond, but allow me to draw you in me. Enjoy my presence. Enjoy my great wealth of my heart. You, to whom I allied myself by marriage. I have become your royal counsellor now. Now and then, to hearten you, I shall show myself. The footnote reads, When Christ appears in my face, effacing my face entirely. Many people gave their testimonies on this phenomenon. The Lord continues, Do not ask, Who is this like a column of light? The footnote reads, One night, when everything else in the room was dark, I saw near me two columns of a dazzling brightness, like a mirror sparkling in the sun, but not hurting the eyes. I feared. Then I heard, Do not fear, and it vanished. The Lord continues, Who is this like a column of light, before the dawn wind rises, before the shadows flee? Come closer to your beloved, and take your shelter in his embrace. Then your soul will rejoice in his embrace. No one will disturb your rest. No one can touch your rest in my heart, because I will safely guard you, my beloved. No one will dare disturb you. No one will dare approach you when they will see from afar the flare in my eyes of my jealous love guarding you jealously. I shall let my jealous love speak out now, as David said in his psalm, 
you anoint my head with oil. I tell you, with my heart in my hand, I will pay homage to you, my bride, by anointing your head again with oil for having gone, for my sake, through hardships and persecutions. Let this oil, my loved one, cover your head and heal all your imperfections. And as a lily among the thistles, may your presence be so radiant and beautiful that it would draw many souls into the nuptial chamber of my heart, so that they too may rejoice within me, witnessing all my blessedness in days to come. Then, with the songs of exultation, they will bless my holy name. And I, for my part, will stir their love to long for me. I will rouse their thirst to seek my heart alone. As a king who sits on his royal throne, dressed in all his robes of state, glittering with gold and precious stones, with a sceptre in his right hand, I will take it as my prime and personal concern to preserve my throne in your heart, so that your heart will continue to be adorned with the wealth of your King and Lord. This wealth of knowing me in my triune glory, the wealth of fearing me and the wealth of shunning every kind of sin, and finally, the wealth of doing my divine will and what is pleasing to me, your God. My travelling companion, repose now in my embrace and allow yourself to be carried in my arms. Allow yourself to be caressed and kissed. No one will dare disturb your repose when they will meet my eyes. And if anyone, the footnote reads, I understood evil intruders, the Lord continues, and if anyone were to be so rash as to challenge me, my breath will blow him away, grinding him to powder. The footnote reads, there was a tone of humour in his voice when he said these words. The Lord continues, Come, let your spirit absorb the secrets of wisdom. Let your spirit boast of the one true knowledge I myself have given you. Let your spirit rejoice for having me, the only son, who am nearest to the Father's heart, as close to your heart as one can be. Let your spirit absorb my sweetness. I, Jesus, am your salvation and your holy companion. The one who is singing to you is hidden with you and within you. I am he. The footnote reads, John 18, verse 6 and 8. The Lord continues, My Vasula, consider the great number of gifts I have given you to appoint you, not only as my bearer, but also as my most precious bride, cultivated by my word, disciplined by my wisdom, endowed by my spirit, and courted by my royal heart. Rejoice! Rejoice and be glad! that I, Jesus, am your salvation. So lift your eyes, my loved one. Lift your eyes and look at the one who laid down his life for you. Do not listen to those who talk nonsense and are filled with treachery. They have never met me. They do not even know me. But my glory has risen on you and through you into many hearts. This is the wealth of my sacred heart, long foretold, a wealth that will bring many nations back to me and into my courts. So lift your eyes and look at your glorious King, your ever tender lover. With this sight of splendour, you will grow radiant, 
since the wealth of my heart will keep flowing to you like a sea to enable you to continue my work in graciousness. I have anointed you to go out and proclaim that I am renewing my creation, my loved one, and that my return is imminent. But for the moment, I and you will go out again to the nations, especially where there is more wilderness than there is life. Let me renew your strength in my heart by filling your heart with my peace. We shall appear together again when the time comes. My victories, conquering souls, will be hailed at every one of my steps. And you, fastened to me, will run and will not grow weary, will talk and will not get thirsty. You will stand and never tire. You will advance with me, your feet scarcely touching the ground, while I will be lifting your hand to bless my people in my name thrice holy. I am now holding you, my chosen one, by your right hand, to clothe you with my richest clothes. I will clothe you with myself. When you are dressed with myself, these vestments will give you great fortitude in times of suffering. They will console you in times of hardships and distress. And to accompany them, I will send you my mother to be always by your side. In her graciousness, she will lead you to reach perfection of holiness in the fear of God. Now, delight me and bind my words ever to your heart so that whatever you will do, you will do it with dignity and honour since you have been assigned by the King of Kings. And if anyone asks you, who is the composer of this song? Answer them, saying, It is he who lives in the heights of glory. It is he, the very one, who in his triune holiness breathed into you life. It is he who said to the Samaritan woman, The water that I shall give will turn into a spring in him, welling up to eternal life. It is he who will say to the vast quantities of dry bones, Dry bones, hear the word. Hear the word of the word. Replenish yourselves with my breath and rise. Say to them, my sister and my beloved, The author and the composer of this song is he in whom you will live for all eternity, were you to follow him. Breath of my breath, flame of my eyes, do not weary writing, but keep your ear glued on my breast. Not even solemn festivals done in my honour could come close enough and surpass those precious moments when I am with you and when you are open to me as a book, so that I write in you my love him. This love him, where he who is the unknown to the unknown, the footnote reads, one is unknown to God when one does not do God's divine will, for they too have not met God. In brackets, Matthew chapter 7, verse 21 to 23. The Lord continues. This love him where he who is the unknown to the unknown will be revealed to them in the fullness of his glory. For I, the Lord, do not reject mankind and my favours are not all past. This is what the unknown shall say with great joy. Jesus is my salvation. God is your friend, my Vesula. He who has knowledge of all things is your friend. The one whom you invited at your table is your faithful and loyal friend. Let the nations know this, 
that they may learn who is the one that is standing now at their door, knocking. If they hear me and open their door to me, I will come in and share their meal side by side with them. Then I, in my turn, when the time comes, I will show my gratitude to them by inviting them to share my throne in heaven. Vasula speaks. Lord, you are great. You are glorious, wonderfully strong, unconquerable. May your whole creation serve you in righteousness. The Lord speaks. My Father and I have made our home with you. The footnote reads. I understood that this was like telling me We espoused you to us. The Lord continues, Because of the greatness of the love you have for me. Ah, Vasula, I still have many things to say. I have many things to say to you, but now it is time for you to complete your other duties too. I am with you and I will take delight while you perform your other works for your family. Since your birth, my loved one, and during your childhood, my eyes never ceased watching with delight the one whom my sacred heart had chosen to make out of her one day a tree. Daughter of the sun, the footnote reads, the name Vasiliki means also daughter of the king. When Jesus used this term, I understood as he is king that he called me by my name in a symbolic way. The Lord continues, I love you. Eternal life is known is to know me, the only true God. Come. Signed, Alpha and Omega. <laughs>